show, Hot Buttered's Terry Fitzgerald takes us back in time. So Fitz, I'm a big fan of the Salt and Speed, and you've had an amazing career. Must have been a great era growing up around the 60s. Yeah, um, that's interesting you said had an amazing career. I'm still having it. And yeah, the 60s were good. Um, it was an interesting time because like that World Championship at Manly that um, Rigid Edge Midge won, um, that was like a catalyst for a whole you know, generation of people to go surfing. So yeah, I guess I'm a, I'm a child of the, of the 60s. You've always had a strong affiliation with Jeffreys Bay and you've pretty much like refined your surfing and your surfboards there. And you went back recently for your 30th anniversary. Yeah, it was, um, it was strange. That it wasn't planned like that. Um, it was more a thing where Kai and Joel, you know, we had time to, to just get away. And uh, when we did the math, it did turn out to be 30th anniversary. What's the best feeling you get out of surfing, JB? Well, at the moment, about one wave an hour. But, yeah, call me the Sultana or slow. But uh, JB is all about just being able to get to a loop line and hold it high, where the pitch of the wave, gravity, and down the line speed all get to this point where you're almost weightless. I'd like to get the Cape St Francis on because I've been there a couple of times and I never get it. So yeah. the Cape thing is pretty scary because like it's just this huge show mess. Like even it was nuts. And Kai was out there snapping your boards into shape for him. Yeah, bugger. You know. When did that happen? The front was all wobbling around, so I thought, oh, I better like just top down onto my knees and, and lay down and go in. And I topped down onto my knees, <laughs> and the whole front just went boom <laughs> in the front of my face. Mm. I can't believe it. Devo. <laughs> that one went really good. It was like the best board that I've surfed and had for ages, and sure enough, they're always the one you snap. He waited two years for that board. I've been waiting for so long. First board I get off TF in like two years. My board car. No. I was riding the 20. In the last one anyway. That's why I was doing that big side slip. The last few years my brother Joel and I have been going back to, to Terry's boards, which are the boards that we learned to surf on. So it's been sort of really natural for us. They sort of suit our styles. It's just like a whole new chapter in our surfing because they're just such different boards and it's it's really exciting. It's a good new energy for us. brought them up on single fins help them develop their style for us today? Well single fins at a young age like my opinion is, is they should learn how to trim and they should learn how to make a way. And the best way to do that is on a single fin um, and then you can progress to your performance equipment. Kids can do amazing maneuvers but you know seeing Kai and Joel ride 30 year old boards at, at you know six foot Jeffries you know, they were doing the same stuff albeit with a different connection. And that's what makes you know, surfing from my viewpoint that much more interesting. It, it's, it's the joining of the dots, not the dots itself themselves. Mm -hmm. 